welcome to the podcast. This is Austin Peak, And I'm Brandon Shimmons. All right, you now join us for our very first podcast that's going to be out online for all you kitties to download. And first of all, I'd like to say, that song is both the best song and the worst song that was ever made. At the same time. Because no one ever listens to that and says, you know, that's a crappy song. But then again, no one ever listens to the whole thing. Nope. And neither are we. No, but it's great. <laughs> all right, so let's get started. We got a... Let's do a little introduction. Brandon, tell the people who you are. Uh, well, currently I'm a student at UC Irvine, and uh, the highlight of my stay at Irvine has to be the dorm room. I must say that I think they ran out of rooms, and they de- decided that they're going to give me Maria's old cleaning closet as my dorm room. I mean, <laughs> it had to be 10 by 12, maybe. Yep. So, hey, Maria, we're out of rooms. And we need your closet, sorry. Yeah, you totally took her closet, yes. and, and it was horrible when I'd go go hang out there, because, I mean, with us in there, just me and you, it was packed. You, no, not another person. And it, it stank like some foul, rotting rodent. Literally, you had a twin bed, I had a twin-sized air mattress. And it was wall-to-wall. Wall-to-wall. <laughs> wall-to-wall wall. wall to wall with the mattresses. Oh, yeah. Small desk, mini-fridge. No, actually, that had a huge desk, remember? Like, the desk was the size of the room. No, that's one that big. It, was, it looked big. It was three feet deep, at least. <laughs> it looked big because... Hey, three feet deep in a ten-foot room. That's true. It was, 30% it was, of my room. It was, was a good desk. majority of, it was a good right. majority of the room. Yeah. Okay, um, well... Well, also, I'd like to say that the bathroom was just... The bathroom? Uh, hey. <laughs> you know, I need a little drink in my Sprite. I'm going to correct that real quick. All right. The bathroom. All right. Anywho. The bathroom. The bathroom. <laughs> It just had the most disgusting male filth in there. Oh, I mean, yeah. There was just the toilets blown up, the hair everywhere. I mean, it was foul. People left dookies in there. Toilets yeah, worked just fine. They just didn't We should have some brown water. <laughs> like, no. boneless brown trout sitting in the toilet. And they let the yellow mellow. All the time. They let the brown mellow. It was a mellowing yeah, toilet. But mo- I mean, the brown you'd get, eh, maybe once, once a day. But when they did, it was bad. Yeah, but the yellow was constant, never left. Yeah, it, they were yellow. I think it was yellow water. In all fairness, maybe it was no, just, it was piss uh, because I'd flush it first, be like ooh rah, and then I'd piss in it and it'd be yellow again. All right. Yeah. I'm trying. But anyway, that had to be the highlight of my existence at Irvine. Yeah, that sounds good. But, I mean, in the hallway leading to my room. I could barely fit. I had to so like shimmy sideways to get into my door. Yeah. I mean, it, it was something else. It yeah, was, when you experience. told me that the room was the size of the hallway, I was like, oh, man, you better be lying. I was not. <laughs> no, way small. Okay, well, Brandon goes to UCI. Indeed. <laughs> and we don't like the dorm. <laughs> no, no one I does. I didn't live in it, but I, I, was, there, I was there enough. I, I almost did. Unfortunately. <laughs> Hater. I'm just kidding. I love you, <laughs> right. Austin. All right, all right. So, uh, well, my name's Austin. Let's see. Where do I start? Uh, spent last year in San Luis Obispo. Hit, hit up a year of uh, school at the Good Cuesta College. Mm. Cuesta Cougar. By the way. <laughs> yeah. That's catchy. Yeah, better you know than what an I am? Anteater. An anteater. You're an anteater. That's I'm, pretty fierce. I'm a cougar. No, now I'm an Aztec, right? Uh, what? They're the Trojans, aren't they? I'm a Trojan now? Erroneous. Erroneous. That's neither here nor there. No. Okay. So, okay, I spent a year up there. Uh, it was good. I like love the apartment. It was big, uh, pretty new. Live with Jared and Amaya. Great guys. Loved them. Uh, Till they invited this this a hole to live with us, who goes by the name of Fat Albert. Hey, mute this TV, would you? I don't know. That. Actually, to be honest, you guys had about ten men there. You I mean, keep going. I'm I honestly go. thought you guys were starting a men's brothel in there because you had way too many guys. It wasn't even to, ten. You had what five? No, All right, fine. five men to two bedrooms just doesn't work out. Oh, well, check it out. It didn't start out that You're way. You're not in the army. You don't have to line up. It didn't start out that way. Well, it ended up that way, didn't it? That's why I left. <laughs> I see All your right. point now. So, it all makes sense. So, so Omaya brings in a guy, Brian Tilly. Good guy, great guy, lovely guy. And he's living with us, so it's four of us in a two-bedroom. Me and Jared are sharing a room, Brian and Omaya. Things were great. They invited this guy that goes by Fat Albert. His real name doesn't need to be discussed. I hear he's Arab. Yeah, he's getting Arab money. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, and he's fat, too. Big ol' fat thus, Arab. That's the fat No Albert. better combo than that. No. just That's the Fat Albert title. Okay, so the guy looks like Fat Albert, and he's just really a loud, annoying, doesn't shut up, 
couldn't stand the guy and just couldn't live with him. So came back home down here to good Imperial Valley, crashed a couple classes at IVC, got about 10 units, which isn't bad for showing up you know, the first day of Excuse school. Me. There you go. Showing up the first day of school, getting 10 units isn't too bad, so yeah. I'll take it. And uh, looking for a job, hard out here for a pimp. <laughs> Indeed. Ain't got no monies, so. <laughs> You're killing me with no monies, by the I way. I know. You gotta start making some. I know, man, it sucks. All right, yeah, so I'm looking for work, so if anybody in the Valley's got, got jobs to give away, got money to burn, I'll be there to catch it. He's handy. He's handy. Yeah, I can I can do some work. All right, so, uh, well, well, what we decided to do is we got a, a little list of things together that that just just really irritates the crap out of us. So we're just going to... Whoa, whoa, back it up a bit. Where, all right, where are we going? Where? <laughs> first of all, first of all, <laughs> this microphone here was purchased because I had the intentions of making sweet, sweet music. Okay, yeah, yeah, we got to talk about why we're even doing right, this in the so first we, place. We go down to our local Best Buy, you know, you know what, we're going to buy a mic. And we're gonna lay down some hot tracks. Yeah, we're gonna. Everyone's just get gonna that love it. I'm guitar, gonna drop out of college. I'm gonna be a rock guitar, star. Guitar, ukulele. I'm gonna tour the world. And just get to singing. So that was great. Like, yeah, let's play this thing in. We got plugged in. Yeah. And we started playing some guitar. Yeah. Some ukulele. Start singing. So, and guess what? It sucked. Yeah, it sounded <laughs> oh, bad. so bad. It was horrible. So bad. But what we found out was, you know, in between our crappy instruments, singing and whatnot. There was some hilarious jive in between. We got on some good jive talk, so we thought, hey, you know, this thing, it lays down vocals pretty good, as the audience can tell. Hey, you know, sounds good, right? Right? So, we couldn't just let this mic go to waste, so here we are. Sitting on my green podcasting couch now. It's, yeah, this is the podcasting couch now. It's not comfortable at all. This is going to be the only time we podcast on this couch, um, I think. No, no, there will be other times, but... We'll see. I gotta get to Irvine. Then time will tell. Hit some more. All right, so that's why we're we're doing this whole thing, and I, and Our it, musical it, blunders. It's fun for us, and I hope you guys can all enjoy it. And maybe get a good laugh out of it. And uh, we plan on doing the news one of these podcasts whenever we start watching the news. Yeah, <laughs> not not on this yeah. day, not on this day. Tune in. <laughs> yeah, tune in later. Okay, so we got a uh, we got a well short list of things that that really piss us off. So uh, let's see what well, we got. What we got? Well, Brand? first of all, because. Right before this podcast, I was a little hungry, so my snack was a delicious, delicious frosted pop tart. I also had a delicious frosted pop tart. They're good, and I got to thinking like strawberry. All the other flavors of pop tarts are nonsense. No, I wouldn't say all. No, they're nonsense. All of them. No, the the frosted. They got the plain. They got the strawberry. Plain. They got watermelon. They got, I don't know, cheeseburger, T-bone steak. It, it's getting ridiculous, all right? They got a lot of flavors. My dad came home and he had Oreo-flavored Come on. Oreo. Come on. Oreo. Give me a Pop-Tart or give me an Oreo. Don't no, give me an Oreo-flavored Pop-Tart. Oreo for breakfast? Are we that lazy? We got to combine things now? And, I mean, do the people at Kellogg's not have children? Really? I mean, you're making this stuff. You know kids are going to eat it. You say, hey, Dad, I want that new product. Even that guy's going to say, no, you can't have it. You're not having Oreos for breakfast because it's bull. But anyway, the the uh, the maple cinnamon, fantastic, <laughs> fantastic, no. as blasphemy. So good. The frosted pop so tart good. is the only pop tart that should be continued to be made. Erroneous. That is not erroneous, erroneous. at all. It is the only good flavor. <laughs> no, there, no. There's all some, the other flavors. Except, no joke here. This except, is the fact. Except my maple brown sugar, are are all ridiculous. You know some say potato. Some, some say, say tomato. tomato. Hey, yeah. That's the way it all goes. Right, yeah. That is. Okay, what's the deal with this uh, this Bisquick commercial? I know, know a lot of you out there in podcast land have DVRs and you just skip through all the commercials. Glenn, I don't know, you know, people out there. But there's this new Bisquick commercial that, you know, the whole thing behind Bisquick is that you just dump some water in it and you can make some pancakes. Stir it up. It's the only way I that's can it. make them. Water and powder. All right, so that's what we've been doing. That's what everyone knows. That's what we want. And they're pretty tasty. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind Bisquick. I mean, it's pretty good. But this commercial really pissed me off because 